at one girl, County Grit's granddaughter. Oh, her? Her name is Muse. I believe she used to attend the girls' school in the capital. Why do you ask? Don't tell me you're smitten. Hmm. County Gret was the advisor to the previous Duke Cayenne. However, when the now arrested Duke came to power, he pushed out County Grit, uh, County Grit, into retirement. Yeah, so you start to discover some things here if you're paying attention. So, Reen, you off to Raquel? Yeah, after we stop by the field exercise camp. You said you're going to do some intelligence division work around here around the mansion, right? I was under the impression that you come with us. I thought about it, but I figured you guys can handle those Jaegers on your own. I'm going to keep looking for info around the port city. Info about society. Really? Did you find proof of their presence here? Nothing concrete yet, but something was bothering me. And the intelligence division too. They're getting real tired of always being a step behind the society. They couldn't rubber stamp my request to investigate this place fast enough. Damn, between her and the redhead, the intelligence division sounds like a circus. Miriam and Major Rondo are likely the exception, not the rule. If that's your plan, Miriam, then be careful. We'll keep in uh, keep each other posted if we learn anything new, right? You bet your sweet bippy we will. <laughs> Look forward to what you learned in the canyon. <laughs> your sweet bippy. Anyways, I'm off. See you later, newbies. How can you not like Million? Newbies. Well, I guess she is technically our upperclassman. It's nice to have one who's cute, who's so cute. She's still only 15, it's true. But she's been through a lot and she knows what she's doing. We can rely on her. Hmm. Looks like Allie doesn't buy it. They're not much of a family resemblance, but aren't you two sisters? Formally speaking. Still, I can't deny her combat experience. I imagine she'll be able to handle herself. We should focus on the task at hand. My thoughts exactly. Alright, back to camp, then off to Raquel. I mean, then on to Raquel. Alright, so... We are good here. Uh... We just go ahead straight there. If you have some stuff to get there, then... Make sure you do. These children of Dreykels. These young ones who have taken on the pride of the lion. Let us see what they can do in the face of the oncoming storm. Yeah, he felt that. Instructor? Ooh, look at his face. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Just my imagination playing tricks on me. I don't like it. Your imagination tends to have a sick sense of humor. <laughs> I <can't, laughs> I'm guessing you've got a fan staring at you. Or maybe a hater. That's funny. Could be. I do feel the presence of someone out of the ordinary. But are they friend or foe? That's the thing about Aaron Road. Like she, she's definitely foe. But it's weird. It's like she, she's everything she's doing is for a reason. And you end up finding out in uh, the fourth game. I don't want to say too much about it because it gets spoilery. We saw that at the Naval Fortress. Yep, it's the RMPs. Wait, is that?
Ah, my word, it's noisy in here. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, Randy, and here she is. Oh, Instructor Claire, you're here. What brings you here? I've come by to say hello and check up on a few things. Good job on your special ops missions this morning. Oh, thanks. But I'm glad I ran into you now. There's something I need to report. Oh yes, I just got the message. I ran into a group of unknown Jaegers. My, my. I knew you were quick on the draw when it came to information, but I'm still impressed. I bet anything that White Bunny told her all about it. That's right. Millium's here too, isn't she? Could I get some detailed information about the Jaegers? Yes, of course. <laughs> that dude act like he don't want her saying shit, man. <laughs> Reen and the others explain how they encountered the Jaegers and what they look like. Jaegers wearing purple armor. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. You too? I couldn't find anything about uh, about a cord like that in the RMP database either. Maybe they just uh, found it recently? No, I don't believe that's the case. As we fought, it was apparent they were highly skilled. For sure, they knew when to pull back, so I'm guessing they're no strangers in a real fight. I agree. If only we could check their emblem. Well, that's the thing. Usually Jaegers are real proud of their course name and emblem. The Red Constellation was like that too. Oh, that's right. They didn't bother hiding their identity at all when they attacked Crossville. I see. So that's how Jaegers typically operate. Well, if you want to put it like that, sure. But a typical Jaeger will also dirty their hands and take on some shady jobs just for some mirror. Those of them who can't uh, keep even a shred of honor, though, all that are usually branded Jaeger dropouts, like the trash that attacked Hamel. I see. Oh, hmm, I see. With that in mind, it does seem pretty strange. A Jaeger Corps is so highly trained, but falls out outside the norm. There must be a reason for it, right? Either way, the Imperial Army isn't going to take action, are they? No, there are no plans for a full-scale response. Not from them or the RMP. Especially given that the surrounding or uh, orders uh, the area surrounding Ordis is under the jurisdiction of the Unified Regions Army. On top of that, there are no divisions of the Imperial Army stationed nearby. Further, all these issues will be magnified due to the Imperial Provincial Council. Hmm. I guess that all makes sense. So it's the opposite of the situation in Sutherland. Here, the nobility, the Middle East armies are the strongest presence in the area. That's correct, but this time the Unified Regions Army will be giving us their full support. Will they though? I don't know. As long as there's a railway network, we can use the RMP, may be able to give some assistance too. No, I'll make sure of it. Ah, Major. <laughs> Every time she says something, he just kind of be like, Ah, Claire, so ambitious. Well then, if you'll excuse me, I wish you well on your field exercises. Please contact the RMPs or this branch, or Milium if anything happens. Even though she's in a tight spot politically, she's still trying to help us. Yeah, though it hurts a little to see her like that. She was just tormented this whole series, it feels like. Especially after it got to be like uh like part two after she kinda left the group and she kinda got an idea of what was going on. She was just so like conflicted and everything else. Now that I think about it, she was the same way when she taught the, at the police academy in Crossville. 
when our print when our principal, a major general in the Imperial Army, was treating me poorly, she really helped me out a lot. I wonder if you see that in the um in the Crossbell games that are coming out like uh next week. I wonder if you actually get to see some of that stuff with Yuna. It'll be interesting. I see. She has also assisted me with missions in the past. Well, it's easy to see she gets the short end of the stick all too often. Hmm. Well, in any event, I believe the best way that we can repay her kindness is to bring back some good results. Yes, I agree. That's right. We just got to set our minds to it. We keep an eye, we'll keep an eye on the area during our, field, our exercises in the afternoon. Interesting. I'll see if I can gather some info, any info, while we're setting up the communication network. All of you in class seven, good luck on your special ops missions. Understood. We'll see how things go. Thanks, Tor. All right, let's get going. Once we're ready, it's off to Raquel. You got it. He just won't say shit. The same as ever. Like, dude, just because you don't want to help doesn't mean that she can't help, though. Like, or he, like, he's a, he's a rule stickler. So he doesn't feel like, okay, well, look, you guys going to do this stuff and get yourselves in trouble or whatever like that, but, you know. All right, so let's go to, where is... Yeah, okay, so we don't have the whole thing yet. He wants it all together. Where in the hell is Sandy? There she is. Hmm, this is all the extra stuff I'll need. Let's get some seafood, too. I wanted to make dinner with it. Do you think it's too much? No, she'll still be within the budget. I'll take care of it and let Tatiana know about the additional expense. Thanks. I'll make it into a great dinner. Here are your seeds. Oh, you bought some seedlings. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Small gifts. You got fortitude. All right. We'll take some of that. No, no, I should be thanking you. Please keep up the good work. That's all we have for her. Let's see, um trying to think here don't think there's anything else we need to do here specifically why would why would Ravel do such an unnecessary thing anyway the imperial army stance is as I stated earlier be sure not to rely on them yes of course he's right about that unidentified Jaegers huh if I had to guess uh, never mind. Too early to play the guessing game. Just gotta remember to keep your eyes peeled during your field exercise. Alright. I don't think that there's anything else. Uh, we'll see what's up with Tita. It's got enough thrust, but the integrity of the frame is, which means I should change the shape of the... <laughs> you sure seem pretty busy. Ah, sorry. Something's been bothering me since this afternoon. Still, if you need me, please don't hesitate to ask. You're as passionate as ever, Tita. I really, like, that's the one thing that I... Helps. I really, 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 really hate the fact that, um... She wasn't a part of Class 7. They missed a great opportunity, I think. And I know they had characters they wanted to introduce and things like that. But, and that's fine. But not having Tita be a, um... A member of Class 7 and Thanks. putting her... Country, even become the leader of the group or whatever like that is just I feel like such a letdown what can I get you today these Freddy specials are pretty good I made a shit ton of them and um ah, give it a try what can I get you today I still can't uh, trade those fish 
damn it. Ah, give it a try. Let's go back anyway. Alright. I'm head right back out. Alright, let's begin our afternoon exercises. We can head through the eastern canyon to reach Raquel, right? See something. Yeah, it should take me about 20 minutes with, the, with our bikes. You gonna see anyone once you go home, Ash? What's it like there? I was half asleep this morning. Damn, she just admitted it outright, huh? You were completely passed out. <laughs> if you don't know, then why would I spoil the surprise? Though, it's only half as much fun during the day. Oh, I'm sure it's a very exciting place. Let's go. Alright, what we're going to do here, we're going to head back to um, Portis. We'll start, I'm trying to think, let's start with the business district and go to um, the hotel. I'm going to show you. Uh, um, so this lady, Eleanor... Where is she at? I do remember this. Is it over in the corner? Ooh. Right here. There she is. We talked to her. We finally finished organizing everything. The only thing it took is this book. That's how you get Heartless Edgar Chapter 6. Now, you can, this is one of the only times you get a chance to get it, so... I would go do that as soon as you can, and then we're gonna go to North Street. Damn it. And right here, where the private home is, you still got a chance to do the quest too, if you wanted to do them. All right, you talk to this kid. I wonder what's taking him so long. I hope he didn't get into an accident. He'll be fine. I gave him the a pumice pumice stone, so he should be fine. A pumice stone. Failures in order to uh, consider it a good luck charm. The idea is that the since pumice floats on the water, the boat won't capsize. I see. This would be a good story for Monk, and that's how you got new material for Monk Show. Go ahead and give it to Monk. <laughs> give me the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. And one more stop in the harbor. I mean, go, let's go to Miranda's Tavern. And you should see Leonora in here. Uh, where the hell is she at? There she is, right there. So we talk to Leonora. Glad to see you're doing well, Miranda. Need a hand? I'll help you out a bit if you don't mind. I appreciate the offer, but you should relax a little. You're really gonna have your hands full once you get back, right? As far as I'm concerned, this is your home, so just kick back a little and enjoy yourself. And you always go good to me, Miranda. Oh, it's Leo. You seem to be enjoying yourself. Oh, hey guys, the rest of Class 7 too, huh? Judging by your uniforms, you must be from the same school as Leo. You call her Leo too. I haven't heard anyone outside the branch campus call her that before. You two must be close. Well, Miranda's pretty much like a mother to all the sailors here. And on top of that, she's extra kind to those of us without a family. Leo's fleet was full of children like her. But together, they made a new family, and I was so happy they let me be part of it. But after the Civil War, they all split up, and the Civil War es escort fleet was no more. Well, the Imperial, uh, Imperial Navy's uh, s supposed to take over our job now. Hmm, does that mean it was the go uh, government that forced your fleet to disband? Yeah, they said it was part of restoring order after the Civil War. Some of us really resented that decision. But most of us, including me, just accepted it as a change in times. Some of us even joined the Navy. Interesting. Anyway, if you're Leo's friends, then I've got just got to treat you to a meal. This is our signature dish. Enjoy. Seafood boil. So you get uh, six of those. Wow, it looks great. Thank you very much. And um, 
Hey, Miranda, does he ever stop by anymore? No, not at all. I've only heard rumors about him. Hmm. Leonore? You look really serious all of a sudden. Do I? Well, it's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about me. Miranda hasn't changed at all. Okay. Guessing that was probably about, like, a family. So for her... This is... What you get right there. Silver Whale. Former member of the Silver Whale's escort fleet. Before they were disbanded. With her former crewmate back in the shape. So, then you're done getting her, uh, profiles. And, uh, I'll show you what the crawfish boils do. It's a, it's a fairly okay item. Sea, seafood boils. 200 HP and it cures seal mutant stat down. So, pretty good item. Decent. If it's your first playthrough, it'll, it'll be fine. It, it, once your HP starts getting up there, you kind of like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Like, man, do I really need to, uh, care about this at all? Probably not. Alright, um... You can... I think... Wait, did I go to that thing? Or did I already have that? Yeah, so, um... We did talk to Tita. So come right here, and I think she will have, I think it may be Oberon, or either Beowulf, one of those available. Thanks. At the at this point in time, um, crap, I'm getting turned around. All right, now we can go ahead and head on out. All right. We are going ahead and heading this way now. Now you can actually go to this part. There's some chests over here. I'm trying to see. I don't know what none of these are. Oh, those are running too. Your material. Now, brace yourself. I did not mean to run into them. Second form. Damn! It's down. It's mine. This is it. Keep right. coming. Here I go. Very well. Yeah. It's down. It's mine. It's my turn. Yeah. All right. Nice. I must. Tr All right. Sorry about that. Uh, I found some treasure. Aerial dust. Okay, so three pretty good things. That's decent. Uh. Okay, yeah. Get back on track. See, a lot of chances. The reason why I say that leveling up is good here. There are a lot of chances to get like the the double battles. Lots of chances. This is the Canyon Road. Looks like it's got its fair share of twists and turns. Historically, this road was very significant as it connected orders to the capital. Hmm. Alright, Raquel was established midway between or between the two as something of a way station. Wow, I guess that makes sense. Long ago. I would imagine that this road would have been bustling with wayfarers and horse-drawn carriages. Sure, but it'd be weird to see someone walking it, uh, walking it now that we've got trains. Well, aside from us, I guess, let's get to stepping. Just remember, it might be Jaeger's about. Keep your eyes and ears open. Never know. There's no telling what this road has in store for us. Might want to have a to look around all right so about this area um a couple of things here i think most of them are like i know one is like items Let's see everyone ready 
This is why I ate right on the damn things. It's down! It's mine! Very well. Yeah! Sure. You're mine! Yeah! An opening! Here I go! Alright. <laughs> well, look at that. Getting off right now. Get out of my way. Okay. I think that was actually some hair. I remember it right. It was uh, hair from somebody. Where are we going? It's a shortcut. Yeah, now that, so that one will we'll attack you. This one's strong. Be careful. Alright, forget it. We're just gonna go right after it. I should have probably burst it. Mm. Rope helix treasure. You're mine. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Huh. Is that all? Okay. Oh, this little area right here. Yeah, you end up uh, going there. I forgot about that. The other chest is right here. What is this one? I found some treasure. Tyrell. Yeah. I thought there was a brave seed around here somewhere. That enemy is strong. It Please might be, be it. careful. There. Watch out! This is a tough one. Rope. Helix strike. My turn. Your mom. It's down. An opening. Here I go. Just trying to get this over fast. Ah, wide open. Too slow. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. There's more. Let's go. Sit. All right. You can't get wide open. Too slow. Very well. I got this. Yeah. Kurt is so <laughs> fast, man. Done already. Ooh, a treasure <laughs> chest. Dark emblem. Okay. Well, we didn't have to buy it. There go one. A dark emblem. And I think up here there's another thing. There it is. Ah, brave seed. I knew I knew it was seed around here somewhere. Yeah, but that's really it for this area. I mean, the enemies here are fairly weak, except those big things I fought. Those are like the main ones. And you're all ready to Raquel after you get done here. <laughs> well done. You're not the boy I once knew. <laughs> Not only that, but between Black Rabbit and that perky girl with the pink hair, you found yourself a nice little group. Her included, of course. <laughs> Guess who this is? You should know this who this is. This is the Iron Horseman. No movement in Northwest Long Dock. I did see them. Oh, Long Dock. Wow. Oh. How were they, you ask? <laughs> <laughs> well, the three girls were so cute that I nearly... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep. Anyway, hang tight. My partner and I are on our way. She gave herself away doing that. And there she goes. Angelica. <laughs> Why she's sitting in the shadows, I don't fucking know. Like, it made zero sense for her to be up there and not just be like, Hey, Reem, what's up? Like... You know, but I guess. Hmm. So Raquel is just kind of like an entertainment district. Nothing too crazy about it. It has a lot of little I've never been like here it. before, but this place feels different from other Imperial cities. You know something? It reminds me of the entertainment district in Crossbell. That's pretty much what it is. You're not far off. It has a small theater, casinos, high-end clubs, and the like. It used to be a little hub that served to connect Ortis, Heimdall, and Jirai. Then around 30 years ago, when the railway opened up, it was converted into an entertainment district. The... Previous Duke Cayenne played a big part in that. 
Does that mean all these people are either tourists or in transit? Yeah, but it's another story after dark. The city has two totally different faces for night and day. Sounds about right. This is your hometown, actually, right? Want to say hi to anyone? Might as well see your mom and dad. Hmm? It's no more trouble than when we visited Yuna's family. They don't know. That's all. I wouldn't mind meeting them, too. <laughs> Y'all are nice and all, but it's fine. I've got a house, but I wouldn't call it a home. What? Do you not have a family? Nah, it's always just been me. I wasn't born here either. The woman who raised me worked at work Raquel's nightlife. And since she died six years back, I've been alone. Well, not totally. I, I guess I had my fair share of friends and girls. I see. Um, I don't know what to say. It's all, it's all old news. Don't worry about it. Lighten up. And we got work to do? Let's get this over and grab a drink after it. I'm going to teach a pretty boy like you how to live in the sweet scene. We're going to drink, gamble, and buy our way into a real good time. <laughs> like, Kurt looks completely unconvinced. He's like, um, bro. Did you not see our instructor is standing right there? Like, he's just looking at like, dude, uh, huh. Come on now. You're not doing any of that. <laughs> they, they just confused. What do you buy here to have a good time? <laughs> yeah, I'm lost on that one. Don't answer it. Just please don't answer it. What's there to buy here that's so special? Boy, these people put this in this game, bro. I, like, if you ain't paying attention to what they're talking about, it's going, what do you buy here that's so special? Yeah, I'll tell you what you can buy. Oh, I'll give you just a minute to think about that. Oh, they got it. Ew, man, it's so gross. <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> Oops. Shield your innocence, lady. Boy, that's hilarious. The fact that they put that in this game, man, is so hilarious to me. Like, they had no card. They just like... <laughs> yeah, put it in the game. Who gives a shit? <laughs> oh, Adios. I wouldn't have agreed to go anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. Good. And all, <laughs> and all said, I'll be conducting your exercises until this evening. Oh boy, I'll leave this decision to take on anything outside of that you, uh, of that to you. But I would, at the very least, like you to patrol the city for Jaeger sightings. Ash, do you know any good places to start? A few of them, actually. Since all the clubs are closed during the day, Deccan's worth the first look. It's a pub and a food joint that's always full during the day. That pawn shop you see right there is open too, if you want to check it out. The old man who runs it really knows this shit. It's kind of like Mitt, the guy there. Another place is the local church. I get, oh, uh, the local church, I guess. Though the sister there can't shut her yap once she gets started. Wow. Where will we even uh, be without you here? It's best we start as soon as possible. Agreed. We should visit the person who put in a request at the end as well. Still, if you have a friend or someone you want to uh, see, let us know, okay? Will do. I am kind of curious to see if anything's changed. Maybe I'll drop by. The pubs, pawn shop, church, and Ash's home have all been added as mandatory patrol stops. Alright, we're not going to do the quest. Um... But we're going to do everything else. So. Let me check something real quick. Did I get one of those ground sausages from that guy? I don't think I did. Damn it. 
Ah, shit. Okay. Uh, now you're gonna have to go back. There's a gift here. I forgot. Totally forgot about it. Long time since I played the game. Um, there's a gift in here, I think, for Elise. Uh, no. Need to get the heavy belt. That's a part of uh, an accessory you can make later. Must be the other guy. Yeah, the amber soap. Okay. And a gambling machine. Imperial Chronicles 6, make sure you pick that up. You can pick that up at other places too, not just here. Oh, let me show you what I was talking about with the um the pawn shop thing. There's a uh the guy here. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. What brings you back? You know, just some jobs here and there. This old man deals in everything from high-end furnishings to stolen goods. <laughs> you need some someone who knows the score on what's going on underground. He's a guy. You're embarrassing me. That's not something to be embarrassed about. You should be embarrassed about. This town has so much to offer. So what's happening underground then? Let's see. Well, recently, tons of mirror have been on the move. Tons of mirror? In order to hire a Jaeger Corps, you need tons of mirror. If tons of mirror are moving, then maybe someone's trying to hire a Jaeger Corps. It's enough money to stir certain organizations. I thought it might be related to the Imperial Provincial Council, but with how things are, I don't think any house would hire them. There are many touchy subjects. If anything, they would be better off not doing anything crazy. I see. Thanks for the info. That's gonna be one million mirror. The fuck? That's... Don't take him seriously. I will not. Alright, so this coffee grinder, you gotta get one of the ground sausages from that stand in Ortis in order to get it. I totally forgot about it, so that's my bad. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, make about a 30 tier all bomb. I'm pretty, I'm really probably not gonna need them, so I bought them, but wasn't thinking. Uh, I can create another shard. I have one already. I'll create another one. Fuck it. That way, I'll get be able to get some last weapons there. Yeah, so all these things collecting, you see how you build up and get the crystal, uh, get the crystal watch. It's a really good item. I'm just doing it again because some of those items are awesome and to be able to put it on some people. So like the Maester gloves is one more we got to get for that. The heavy armor, double watch. I'm missing two here. That swift wind, I think I know where that is. But just some decent items. Make sure you just, uh, all, every time you go to a town, just collect them. Some of this I can probably do near the end. I don't think I need them right now. But still. Always good to double check, but I'll have to come to get the ground sausage and come back once I get, um, done with this area. All these little areas that we actually, actually check. Uh, over by the casino over there, you see you can, um... This is the main street. Never many people out during the day. <laughs> this place is much more fun at night. I should say Everything like that. about this place reminds me of Crossbell's Entertainment District. Alright, so there's this girl, M M Mika. You can play her in Vantage Masters. I think you end up getting, um... What's the card? Like a, it's like a... I forget the name of it. We'll go ahead into the chapel here. There's a girl in here that he's, like, friends with. She tries to keep him on a straight and narrow. Sister Olfa. Ash, you're back. You've grown up so much. I see you finally chose to live the life of an honest man. Praise be to Adios. Yeah, yeah. Shut it up, Reddy. <laughs> Looks like you two are pretty familiar with each other. Huh, Ash? We have seen a glimpse of... 
what you really do with your free time. I've been living life that the way it was meant to be lived. I eat when I'm hungry, I have fun when women are around, and I fight when I need to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Acting on all your desires will eventually lead to your downfall. You need to have a pious heart. Alright, I got it. Cause Miss Pious Sister here can stop any fight in town and recite all the sacred scriptures by heart, right? Well, um, I'm still new and no one looks up to me. Not to mention, you're smarter than me and you always point out my mistakes. You must have it pretty hard. Jeez, you shouldn't cause so much trouble. Have hey, you forgotten our objective? I know what it is. Alright, they explain to her to go for Jaegers. So yeah, tell me everything you know. You talk to people all day, right? I'm sure you run into trouble. Why do you have to say it like that? Well, it is true that this city has been getting worse. There was a shooting near a school the other day. Jesus Christ, why does that sound like real life? Was it caused by a Jaeger? I don't know. But since the Civil War, things in Raquel have been getting worse. That's why we need to work harder, as a sister who guides the people. Alright, later. Catch on the flip side, Four Eyes. Hey, Ash. Hey, at least thank her. Yeah, Ash is a dick, so... What was that? So you noticed him too, huh? Do you know him? Unfortunately. He's telling us you'll meet him sooner or later. Is something the matter? You two are acting really secretive. But I want to have secrets with you, with the instructor too. <laughs> Whatever's going on, we should be on alert. Dude, she does not have an off button, bro. She just goes. Like, the whole time. Alright, uh, we'll do the apartments last. Go ahead and hit to the diner. Is that you, Ash? When did you come back? You should have given me a heads up. I'd have looked out for you. Uh-huh, well, I'm here. Man, do you know everyone here? You're like the town mascot. That's fucked up. Shut up. <laughs> so what's this? Are you giving your classmates a tour? I'm Morley, by the way. I was friends with his mother, so I've known this one here since he was yay high. It's very nice to meet you, Morley. Come on, stop dreaming like a baby. Anyway, what's the latest around here? That's an awfully sudden change in the topic. Not so sudden as you might think. Okay, they explained to her about the Jaegers. Jaegers? I've heard of some Jaeger, Jaeger cords coming in and out of the city, of course. They come by my place too, but couldn't say if they were working. I wasn't expecting such a good hit at a restaurant. I just never pictured Jaegers going to places like normal people. Huh? Why not? Jaegers are people, and people get hungry. It's true. And alright, we know they're here. But we don't know why. That's a plenty of uh, good lead for our purposes. We're only trying to get a rough outline of the situation as it stands. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yep. Um, I think from her you get... Yeah, the meat pies. So it's a meat pie recipe with her and I at the other place, I think it is, I'm trying to think, I think, uh, does this know this guy too? Yeah. Whoa, Ash, you're back. Yeah, anything uh, new going on? Please. This store has been around for 30 years. It ain't changing in a couple of months. You're not coming anymore. Um, you not coming anymore is the biggest loss. You better eat like 10 servings while you're here, damn it. Just you wait. I'll bring you more people than, than you can serve. Oh yeah? Alright, I'll hold you to it. Ash has proven to be one very popular boy. Not popular enough to get us information. That's fucked up. <laughs> she just pointed that shit out like, man. Yeah. I think this guy over here is her, her one of her sons. That, that you, Ash? This someone's idea of a shitty prank? What's up, Brad? If you want to pick a fight? I come down, I come down from just about anywhere to kick your ass right off you. That's funny as hell. 
Shut up. Pals don't make pals lose their ass. I got a point. Well, shit. If you're, if you really are in a military academy, the name's Brad. Good to meet you. And I'm actually quite the pacifist. I have you know. I only prefer to use the five finger discount in a fight. Let me know if I can help you out. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't gonna let you steal from tourists. That's not nice. I mean, I can help in other ways. I so don't want him around. He's the type that'll make a, Brad, a bad situation worse. I thought she said a Brad situation. I was like, damn, okay. I'll think to get in on it too. Um, Yeah, now the place up here. Uh, something called purple. Uh, it's purple something. I don't what it is. Oh, is that you, Ash? Took me a second. Hey, Dios. It's been three months already? Hell if I know. Not like I keep track. <clears throat> Say, you got any good stories from the circuit? You've always got something, don't you? Not even a hello? You could try being more of a gentleman. And sadly, no. I doubt I have anything you would like to hear. The most I've got now is some hot shots been going around uh, to play an awful lot lately. I was way off, and I don't know what you're up to, but be good, okay? And be sure to treat those girls right. Baby, I know it. Later. This dude right here. Oh, that boy. Well, you guys can feel free to take a load off. <laughs> dude, just straight up, uh, trying to see. Ah, yeah, Purple Hearts is what it is. Curious KO. Yeah, so that's the recipe you get from this one. Um, why does this girl look for me? Uh, Bianca. Uh, no one wanted me today. Why do I have the worst look? Hey, Julia, one more glass. Take it easy, Bianca. You got to work tonight. What? I'll be fine. Yeah. Day drinking and shit. Wait. Uh, how this happened? I didn't do nothing wrong, damn it. Hmm, everyone, everyone's full of it. They look at me like I didn't do nothing. He smells like pure alcohol. We should stay away from him. I, he looks familiar, like, uh, I'm trying to... Was he involved in a quest? Ash, is that you? How are you? Yo, how's business? Uh, it's been awful. The men haven't been up to par at all. Can't one of them spice things up? You can't be picky with them. Come on, take your job more seriously. Who get you being Mr. Responsible? Whatever. He couldn't hide the smile on his face if he tried. Doesn't even know a lot about the locals. Well, I mean, it ain't really... There's nothing much to, like, know here personally. Alright. So we've been through all these other places. Um, <laughs> that dog's always making a racket. Nice dog. Okay, just a little apartment building right here. I think there's a quest that comes in here too. In one of these games, and we're gonna go to Ash's home. Good. Looks like the place didn't get ransacked. Hold up. Is this perhaps... What? You want a drink or something? Sorry, there's nothing in there. Well, with your family absent, there's no point in going in. However, my curiosity is ever so peaked. Can you blame us? Damn it, stop looking at me with those puppy dog eyes. Not a big deal. If you want to go in, go in. Okay. And we happily accept your invitation. Pardon us. In you go. It's like he he almost didn't want to show him like, yeah, this is where I grew up. It's not a bunch of punk rock shit around and punching bags and shit. I'm just an angry kid and bitter. Wow. A natural house. You're expecting like caves and skulls and shit and <laughs> it's only been three months 
So the dust shouldn't be too bad. Looks like the place might have had some visitors too. I can see why. It's a nice place. Agreed. There's a certain warmth to it. As you can see that bookshelf though over there though. I assume this is thanks to your mother. Yep. This is kind of the place you'd expect any drink porn the old ladies to live. Even if she did look young for her age. Take a look for yourself. Whoa. You called her an old lady, but she's beautiful. She looks so stylish, and I can tell she had a big heart, too. You can tell that by the picture. Meanwhile, you look very obnoxious. <laughs> but you both look happy That here. is true. Now, you can't tell that by the picture. Yeah, it's not like we were starving or anything. She made good money working the night shifts. She had enough to keep us little punks fed and still managed to put some away. But yeah, I guess I am grateful to her. Most people wouldn't spend eight years raising some brat one of their regulars threw at him. I see. You must have been pretty young when you got adopted. <coughs> if she passed away six years ago, eight years before that, you would have been three or four? Hell, I don't even remember. What I can say for sure is that she was a very caring and strong woman. Maybe a little too trusting for her own good, though. Oh, and her cooking was so damn bad, I had to take over myself at one point. <laughs> what a cute family you must have been. <laughs> she sounds like a truly wonderful mother. If you don't mind me asking, how did she pass away? A damn tumor. Took her away in the blink of an eye. Damn. She was always looking out for everyone else. But Adio sure as hell didn't look out for her. Well, life's a bitch. What else is new? Ash. <laughs> All right, buck up, people. Don't need your tears making this place all humid. It's supposed to be a dry climate. Oh, the tears. <laughs> I admit, that's pretty clever. And surprisingly accurate, given that we're in the middle of a valley. On that note, I think I might let some air in. What do you say? It seems like someone's been cleaning the place, but it's still a bit dusty. Works for me. I could use a breeze. Uh, act an actual calm moment. With Ash. After letting the air in for a while, everyone left Ash's house and he locked up. Alright. I'm going to end here. When we come back, we will be... I don't think there's... And I'll show you, like, the casino. I think it's open. But, yeah, there's really... Nothing else left to do here. I got most of the stuff I need. I need to go back and get the gift for uh, that ground sausage. We checked everything out, but what a waste. We haven't learned anything of use. I figure that's how we'd end up. People walk in and out of here all the time, so no one's gonna, uh, local's gonna care to notice any new faces. That's too bad. Should we end our investigation for today? It is so much work. It'd be nice to have some progress. Hey, well then, have I got a pretty little nugget for you. Oh, this guy. Huh? Oh, it's just you, Miguel. Hey, Ash. Nice to see you back here. Ash and Chevalier and students of Thor's Branch Campus, welcome to Raquel. My. How do you know who we are? Do you know him? Well, yeah. He's just another shady old man who sells gossip and crap. Hmm. So he's an informant. Damn. We ain't seen each other in how long, and you're already taking the piss out of me. What? Yeah, I thought you wanted to know about those Jaegers. You know what we want? Wait, so you can help us out? Whoa, not without striking a fair deal first. But since Ash is a friendly place, I'll make it cheap. Uh, I suppose fair to an informant means payment. You heard him. What's the plan, Instructor? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't treated. Right then. No, no deal. I'm afraid our investigation is an exercise for a military academy. Using mirrors to buy our way to completion defeats the purpose. True. What? That's a good point. It wouldn't look very good while we're in uniform. It'd be like police officers bought their way to investigation. And we can't verify this information is reliable. Sorry, but as you see, we'll have to decline. Wait. 
Damn it, then I'll just have to tell you for free. Really? There's an area along the canyon called the Rock Patio. Yeah, I just went there to that little area. They say strangers been coming and going out of there. There are Jaeger skulking around there. Where's where you find them? Rock Patio, was it? I think I saw a passage of the south on the way there. This is oddly generous of you. Well, what can I say? I'm doing it for you, Ash. And doing this one so just take the freebie. People don't usually go by there, so you won't even see it coming. Good luck now. Huh? He was nicer than I thought he'd be. Looks aside, his information was also good. His personality sucks, but the info he sells is usually legit. As I said before, this is part of your field exercises. I want you to decide how you use this information. Us? Hmm, what to do? We still have some time before it gets dark. I prefer if we made some progress. Okay, then let's hit the road. You two are all right? Nope, I mean, you two are right. No point in us staying here. I have no objections. Look at you, playing stupid. I know you're doing it on purpose. So my hunch was right. Don't worry, I'll never be far behind. Even then, the experience might do you some good. Ash, be prepared. Damn it. What's wrong? It's nothing. Rock Patio is through the west entrance. Let's get it going. Yeah. Ah, but not before we're as prepared as can be. So as you can see, Reen kind of sees through this whole thing, and Ash bended it, saw through it, but we'll come back and we'll find out exactly what that means. Uh, thank you guys for rocking with me. As I always say, I appreciate everybody checking out the videos. Glad you guys are digging this series. Um, if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe in order to get the videos straight to you as soon as they come. Uh, come back for some more. Hope you guys are digging it. Catch you in the next vid. Peace.